today I want to teach you that you can take events you witnessed or were a part of and you can sift through these lived experiences to find potential newscasts and write about them as journalists. To do this, you step out of your role as a protagonist and into the role of outside observer. Writers, if a journalist had been undercover with you and your friends or your family and had chronicled the big stories in the last year, the out of the ordinary, the moments of heightened emotion, the times when there was a hidden story under the obvious story that you lived through, what do you think the journalist would have written about? Imagine the list you could make or even jot if you want. I want you to take a minute and jot down your ideas. Pause the video and make a list of the things that you or someone who observed you and your friends or you and your family could have written about. I'm sure you came up with a wide variety of things that you could have written about. Maybe things like somebody got hurt or you were worried about someone sporting events, games, festivals, family trips, parties, holiday events. There's lots of things that would have happened in the last year that could be observed and written about. Journalists sometimes research experiences like these for nonfiction moments, remembered events that are worth recording later. Let's try that out right now. Let's take one event that you might remember well. Let's look at gr gr girl's basketball team last spring and quickly begin to draft a story of that event as a newscast. For those of you who didn't witness this event or didn't hear about it, you'll soon learn all about it. So what do we know about starting newscast? Hmm, we know we want to get the five W's. But maybe we could throw a tiny lead in there. Just a tiny bit of drama to make it newsworthy and get readers interested in the facts. How about this? The fierce and seemingly unstoppable Hamilton girls basketball team finally met their match. So let's try to get to the five W's right away. So it was March 2018. The girls basketball team was playing in Marshall, Michigan in the state quarter semifinals. Let's read what I have so far. It was March 2018. My heart was beating with anticipation at watching the highly ranked Hamilton girls basketball team play in Marshall, Michigan. The girls basketball team put up a good fight at the state quarterfinals. Oh, wait a second. I don't want the part about my heart beating with anticipation. That sounds like a personal narrative. We have to stay in third person. Okay, let's try it again. The stands were packed with basketball fans from across the state. The Hamilton girls basketball team put up a good fight at the state quarterfinals in Marshall, Michigan. Okay, so we've got this part of our story down. But wait, then we have to ask ourselves, was that the whole story? Well, no, the point of the story is to tell about the game, and I haven't even really told about the game yet. That's the what. The gym with cheering fans and travelers from afar. The handsome players ran onto the court. I thought to myself, this is going to be the best game of the season. Oh, wait a second. I did it again. I have that part where I'm showing my inner thoughts. And we don't really have any evidence to prove that that's what happened. Writers, do you see how even though I was there to witness the event, I'm not writing it as first person, like a personal narrative. I'm careful to create nonfiction. Here are the steps I followed, which you can follow as well. 
First, I researched by sifting through witnessed events, choosing one that would be interesting to our community, so it would make a good newscast. Then, I thought about how it would start. I wanted the lead to be interesting, to grab my readers' attention and get them interested in the facts. Next, I made sure to get to the five W's right away and checked myself to make sure I did. And last, I was careful to write like a journalist, which means not exaggerating and not slipping into personal narrative style. Journalist, you know what time it is. Go back to the lesson platform for your turn to try these steps in your writing.